Alright, hello YouTube fans, this is Mega Man Sonic X. Uh, first, let's get Audacity out of the way, shall we? There we go. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to set up an iPlayer for Nintendo DS. And no, I do not mean it's an Apple product. The first thing you're going to need is an iPlayer, of course. And... This is basically the iPlayer's main site. And if you Google search iPlayer, you can actually find where to buy it. I got mine from a site called iShop Video Games. The thing comes from China, of course, so expect a couple of weeks if you're living in the US, maybe less in the UK since you're in that same part of the world. Anyways, so what you're going to do is on their site, I will put the link on the video. You're going to click download. And you're going to see here, this is the iPlayer operating system. Like the R4, you need to download it and install it. Now, I already did it, so, and it will save some time. Okay, so make sure, you want to make sure that your micro SD card is blank because it reads, um, it's basically an operating system. If you have anything, if you have an R4 operating system on it, I don't think he'll work. So what you're going to do is just copy all of this and put it oops and put it onto your micro SD card. Now then, as you could see or could have seen, there was an update. So when you first boot up it's going to ask if you want to install that update. Next um, next, we're going to show you how to install the iPlayer's Game Boy Advanced emulator, which you too, or at least, it's, at least it shows, you can also download it from here. There's also an NES, a Mega Drive, and a Game Boy, by which I mean the original. So now here is my micro SD, so you can see I have everything installed. So here's what you're going to need to do. With the emulator, you're going to pick CH or EN, depending on which version, I don't know. What you're going to do is open the plugins menu. You're going to take and highlight all of this. And then you see the plugins menu over here. Open it up. And it's as simple as highlighting, dragging, and dropping. Now, here's how you put the Game Boy Advance ROMs on it. So you're going to have these folders. Ignore system, It's you don't need to touch that. So he, this one be, above it, game, game RTS. This is where you're going to put all of your save files if you want to import them. Or if not, this is where it's also going to save them. Now game pack. This is where you're going to put the actual Game Boy Advanced ROMs. Okay. Now, if you have videos or music you want to put on, that's the simple part. You just click on music or put on video. What I will notice is that if it's in the AVI format, that will be, well, for me, it's working the best. The others, it was choppy, and after five seconds, the iPlayer just froze up at the restart. Okay, now that you have all that crucial information on your micro SD card, it's as simple as putting it into your DS and then starting it. I originally did have video footage, but I'm just having so much trouble. Orig my phone can only record two minutes, and then I borrowed my sister's camera. I had the audio, but I lost all the footage. So I'll make a video of that later. So anyways, your iPlayer is ready to go.